Okay, so you grow your business with Google Ads. So this is the sample. Show up when people search for what you offer. So this is Google Ads platform. Well, how do you get here? You go to Google, you search for Google Ads account. Just like this. Google Ads account. So once it opens, you go down and then you click on this ads.google.com. Don't make the mistake of creating an express account. People who don't have much time, who just want to see their advert go live, or they won't be able to take control of their ad campaign. Okay, so let's go back. I've shown us the Google Anatomy, um, the campaign, the ad group, and the ads. Then again, additional layer is the keyword because the keyword has to trigger the advert. So once you go to ads.google.com, then you get to this part. Okay, so I mentioned something about MCC account. So MCC account is the master client center for those who are managing more than one Google account. So this is an example of a of an MCC account. Uh, so this is my overview. You can see the accounts I've managed in the past. These are account items are top spice glitchy. This, this, that. Okay, so what is what? Yeah, it's showing green that it is still eligible to be. This one that are showing cancel. Google remove the account because it's been a long time. They don't have that on the account. Okay. It's been a very long time. But the one showing green is still in a recent time. So, so this is how the MCC account works. So all you have to do is to invite um, the account you want to add. So this is my ID 899. You can see where my cursor is 8994487412. So these are the accounts that are under it with their own ID as well. So you can see these are the accounts that are all under it. So basically, this is how it works. Okay, so this is an MC account. So I can just decide to just click on one of these um, account. So now, when I click on the account, I have to see if I'm the one managing the account. If I'm an admin on the account, I don't need to request for your password. I can also have that account that I created to my, to my list. So basically, it affords me to manage for different clients. Okay, so what are we doing? Okay, so my last um, student in this class, his name is Eniola. So this is his own adult account. Let me click on it. Let me see what. This is the live class for Google Hardwoods. We are doing search out part now. Okay, so um, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so Eniola hasn't done much after the last class. Okay, this is like, I said Livia has created another account that I'm not aware of. Okay, so how do you now go about creating your search advert? So the answer should be in what I've written on the board, the anatomy of Google AdWords. Just click on the campaign on the left hand side. Click on campaign. Where we got ourselves before was the dashboard, the home page, or the overview. So now you don't need to pick it for that by clicking on the campaign. That's what I'm doing. So because it's a fresh account, there's no data, nothing has been done in the past near campaign. And this is it. So what do you now need to do to go ahead? You click on this plus sign, which means add a new campaign. Can we all see it? So you click on it, on the plus sign. So it asks you to create a new campaign. This little campaign settings is, okay, maybe in the past you've created some campaign and you still want to retain the settings of those campaigns. You don't want to start from scratch again, you set the targeting option, you set the budget, to just fetch the past settings. 
Which is the new campaign? You click on the new campaign. It was loaded. Yes, yeah, so it takes us to the objective. And then move this image so it doesn't distort what we are doing. Okay, so great. Just like Facebook advert, like I said the other time, it's also asking us that you should select the goal that will make this campaign successful for your business or for you. So, you know, before you set up a campaign, you should know what the campaign is all about. So now this one is for sales, for those that want to buy sales online, buy a app, buy a phone or in store. And again, we have another one for leads. You get leads and other conversations by encouraging the customer to take action. And website traffic, you get the right people to visit your website, the right people, market, which means you want to have targeted the right audience, so you can get the right set of people. And again, this one is for product and brand consideration. This one is for brand awareness and reach. Those guys that just want to launch new product, new platform, new businesses, you get to reach a broad audience and view awareness. Then it's an app promotion. You get more installs and interaction for your app. Then again, you can have like, hey, Google, you know what? Don't suggest for me. Don't tell, don't ask me what is my campaign objective. I just know what to do. I know what to do. And you now click on this create a campaign without a goal of guidance. Okay. So here, when you click here, it takes you straight to search advert campaign. So now you now need to select if you want to do search advert campaign. Then again, because Google AdWords is for some other kind of campaign, display, shopping, video, YouTube, then app. So you get to see. So this way you push your display advert. So when you go to sites like blogs or site like Linda EKG, you start seeing banner of Honda. This is where they set it up. This display ad. Well, now for the purpose of this class, all you want to do is a search advert. So I'm clicking on the search. I've highlighted it then. So, which result do I want to get from this campaign? Am I doing click to call? Am I doing website visit? So, uh, I'm doing website visit. So, now it's asking me for my website. And that answers your question that um, do you need to have a website? The landing page is good enough. Even if it's a Facebook page, but it's not really advisable. But you don't want to be seen to be pushing traffic to other people's sites. Because Facebook, your page on Facebook is other people's site. What if Facebook decides to shut down? So what site should we put? So let me now put my site, gpc.ng, digital marketing site. So let me activate if I want to do another part of the site. So I've typed it and I'll click on continue. Fine, you can select more results if you feel because it's a, it's a checkbox. You can check more than one. So it's loading. We are trying to set up our first search advert. And you can see the anatomy straight on the top now. That's created it for us. The campaign, the create advert, then the setup keywords part. Or it skip something, the ad set. So in the ad group. So now, so this is the campaign. It's asking me, so I've selected the type of advert I want to search. So now it's asking me what is my campaign name. So, now select your campaign. My own campaign name will be okay. Okay, I'm looking for or let me just see. Let's see website traffic. My site. I like to name mine like this. So when I enter my campaign, I know that okay, this is search out that we five. Web traffic for what site? Uh, this is okay, so it's not asking me which network do I want my search advert to be shown. Is it just Google Ads or Display Network as well? But don't forget, we are doing search advert, but your adverts can also show on Display Network. How? You can expand your reach by showing adverts to relevant customers as they browse sites and video. If you are watching video on YouTube, use some search adverts that are still shown. But for me, I don't want my advert to show on other network. I only want it on Google search. So I've unticked or I've unchecked the checkbox. I'm leaving it alone on search network. Also, in, in, include Google search partners. I think in, in the past, Google entered some partnership with Bing so that their advert should be shown. So any Google advert that is showing there, they later pay Bing based on I think affiliate or, or the, um, whichever agreement 
both parties have. So you will remember we done some of these things on Facebook. So it still works perfectly the same way. So targeting option. So asking me in Nigeria, we okay, have selected it. Yeah. So or oh, it's asking me, or oh, do I want to enter a location or oh, do I want to exclude some parts? So you can put Lagos or exclude the particular state, but Nigeria is fine for me. Okay, let me down a restrict. Let me type type Lagos. Let's see if Lagos will pop up. Lagos is loading. Okay, Lagos State. And there's this Lagos, Lagos, and yeah. And, and you still remember the name? What's the name? Exactly. The Lagos and Lagos State. That's Lagos Island. Because Nigeria on Google now has 6.8 million. But Nigeria on Google 8.5 million. So this is how you know the overview. You know, you, you, here I'm here to insert a particular budget. So it's not like I'm limited by budget. So it's telling me estimate. I'm targeting Portugal 1.1 1 million estimated reach on Google based on in the past the number of people that have come to their site. So Nigeria is even ahead of Portugal, you can see. Okay, okay, okay. this is a particular district in Portugal, not all Portugal. Google State is just 700,000 at the bottom. Or Lagos alone, 6.8. But the whole of Nigeria, 8 million. So which means Lagos have been close to 85%. So out of Lagos, so it's like, ah, man, it's like, just let's say the other state are sharing 2 million. You understand? So let me select Lagos. So those are the statistics. So that's the reach, estimated reach. So have you seen, I've moused over this question, which is an estimate of how many people are in or interested in the location is select. It is based on the number of signed in user visiting Google site. You understand? So the language, we don't need to, so as a um, language selection in Nigeria, we speak English, so it's already highlighted, except otherwise. So select audience to add to your campaign. So you can, you can plan select the audience. Then I will do that here, or we select it at the keyword part. But for me, for a search ad bar, yeah, it's okay for you to also select audience for the search. Yeah, to know their behavior, select particular audience based on their browsing behavior, based on their interests, and based on the topics they discuss online. But then again, you can also take target audience based on the kind of keyword they search for. Okay, so basically, I want to push traffic to a digital marketing site. So, what kind of audience do I really need to push if I'm going to be targeted? So, let's see. Let me browse and see. Who they are? Let me see. Uh, the enter status, the digital marketing site. Uh, no, I don't really need to target based on the appearance status. Let me see the amount of status. Do I really need to no. know? Yeah, ed educational status. Yeah, I might need to. Let me see the educational status. Okay, let me. Uh, yeah, so let me go to education. Yeah, current college student, highest. Wow, depending. So, depending, I can. Okay, I need students who have finished school now, maybe determine in their mind what they want to do with their life. Do they need to get a skill set? So that's fine. Or maybe people who are still currently in school, I can choose one and one. And don't forget, as I'm selecting it, it is highlighting at this right hand side. Have you seen? And it's giving me their estimate. Just shown their estimate that it has left the game. Okay, so now the, the fault on Google Ads is on observation. What do they mean by observation? Observation means um, you want Google to uh, to leave it on on the on those targets. Let it observe first. Let it build up your audience list. So at later when you now determine that okay, this audience are not really working for you, can help tweak it. So the observation is on the recommended level. But the targeting means uh, that is the exact target you are sure of it, and that's what you want to reach out for. Okay, so it's not asking me the budget and the bidding. Divide how much you want to spend 
for this campaign and how you want to spend it. You know, we've spoken about the campaign budget, so maybe I'm willing to pay five dollar for this advert on this the average money I want to spend per day. Yeah, five dollar. Then the delivery method. I prefer it to be on standard. Accelerated means I want to quickly reach as much as possible people over the few hours of my campaign. Which means if I'm spending five dollars for a day, my five dollar cannot last for 24 hours. Because I've exhausted five dollars under every two three hours because it is accelerated. But if it's on standard, it rationalizes that five dollar across 24 hours. So if it's going to be spending one dollar per two hours, just to make sure it's evenly spread. So then again, uh, so imagine you have a client that is not patient. He wants to resolve just put it on the He has money. That guy is not patient. So the bidding, what do you want to focus on? Hey, we want to focus on clicks. And that's why I'm doing click. So what's the maximum CPC bid I can do? I'm like, I, I don't want to do more than 0 0.4 cents. So that's 40 cents. For a click, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Let's see what Google is saying here. Yeah. So, maximum CPC bid limit and advanced option for people who want more control. They have their maximum click bid strategy. The bid limit you control the maximum amount you will pay for each click. So, if Google is telling me that hey, there's a client that need, that is a quality client and you need to spend one dollar with this now, it won't recommend that to me. But if I didn't specify that, Google. Because Google just wants to help you spend your money. Yeah, they are trying to also optimize your advert, but come on. I have a budget I'm working with. I don't want to overspend. So, and that's why I'm putting, I don't want to spend more than half a dollar or this half a dollar, less than half a dollar, 40 cents. So, again, based on the selection, this campaign will use the maximum click bid strategy. Because I'm optimizing for click, to try and optimize my campaign for clicks. And again, we have something called the site length, the extension. Have you ever noticed when uh, we advert on Google that has some other bottom links, like the iPhone on Jumia, then you now see, okay, click here again to see our other TV items. It's like, those are also showcase. So site links is like an extension of your advert. You can also add them here, or you can also add your phone number as an extension if you feel like. Let me just stand, do one. So let me do for the call extension. And then create a new call extension. Uh, so I'm in Nigeria, but for the call, Google needs to um, confirm the, that the phone number is also on your site for this one to be permitted. So that nobody is just you know, you know anybody can set up advert for you. So if the person is now putting his phone number, so, that no, so that nobody will just be hijacking like your client online without your permission. Okay, so this is the live Google search ad class. It's a technical class, so you might have to put on your smiling face. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and I also want to believe we're also doing it on our system. So we see what we are doing. So I'm selecting the location for my phone number. So it's asking me to put my phone number. Let's see. Yeah, it's six seven three two one. So, save. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's already added. So likewise for that site extension. Like now, let me also add another site extension. I have a link for premium. <coughs> so I'll just also put it. <coughs> Excuse me. So site link extension. Can you see get certified? Professionally, don't forget um, Google search ads has character limitation. You need to be short and precise, the possible best. Get certified. Certified while you. Ah, can it continue? Okay, well, okay, okay, something came up to my mind now. Let me just say, train and get started. Uh, digital marketing training. Okay, so 
you know, say digital marketing. Payment. So I'll have to clear those guys off. And I'll put the gate certifier at the description line. At least this will be the headline. If you get the attention in a way. <laughs> so I might need to have just one misspelling. So let me know you need that G. Yeah, for it to be, you see that's changed back to green. So the, there's a character limitation on it for 25 characters. But here you're allowed to type more. On the description line, one time gave you 10 more character space, so it is 35. Then line 2 is 35. So, yeah, I can also get certified. Get certified professionally. The horse. PPC, Facebook, at yeah. your marketing. So final URL. So the URL I wanted to learn to when they see the ad part. And I'll be like PPC uh, slash. So you understand? So this is how you push your business. What's it saying? To ensure that your customer's information is protected. Okay, use HTTPS whenever possible. Okay. But yeah, I'm not going to use the HTTP. But because I know there's a there's a character limit. That's why. Okay, not for URL. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, no, there's no character limit for URL. There is for the description online one or two. So that's that for, sir? Even for URL? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So the HTTP is still covers for it. So he's now telling me, do I also want to add line two, add line three, and so on and so forth. So depending on you, but I've shown you how you can add one. So when you are on your system, you can add the others. So save. You know, I've not started creating my search advert yet. This is just like okay. I've done the campaign settings. This is the site names. So you now see where. So it's just the things that will be added at the bottom of my ad part. Let me tell you the meaning of what we are doing. Uh, iPhone X Junior. Let's see what we come up. So you see what site links mean. Okay. So Jumia has this advert for iPhone X, but there's no site links. It's a normal search advert. There are description, there are URL, then the description line one, description line two. But look at Conga. This is site links. That is 2019 smartphone for 26k. Get the new iPhone. These are site links. You see, these are additional links, different from their normal description line one, line two. So in a way, it makes the hardware the richer than Jumia. Jumia does not have any other link at the bottom beyond this number one that okay, we just click. So look at Konga, beyond this, the other number one, I can still click on some of this, and depending on what I'm actually searching for. Imagine I'm looking for, maybe I'm not actually looking for iPhone, and I'm looking for top rated mobile phone, and you just click. So that's how you also see my own training call at the bottom, beyond the normal advert. So this is the actual advert I, I, I want to set up at the, at the top, is highlighted. That's what I mean. I have not even started doing that yet, but I'm already doing the side links, and that's the bottom. So that's a perfect illustration of what we want to do. Okay, so so this is how the preview looks like. My side links, fantastic. Okay, so let's move on. So save and continue. So you can like, share, comment, and subscribe. Share to those who need it. So this is a live class um, for the Google Hard Words session. So now we are doing the search advert marketing. 
we've created the site link. So uh, based on what I said the other time, the anatomy of a typical Google AdWords, we've completed the campaign. So now we are on the ad part group stage. <clears throat> Even though it is highlighting the ad group, but you can, you can see ad group. So this is not ad set, this is ad group. Okay. The ad group section. I'm done with the campaign stage. So I'm on the ad group stage. So I like to rename my, I don't want it to be on the top. So my campaign was on uh, the website traffic. Yeah, so the ad group can now be, let me say, for this particular one, it's on the screen. Particular one is Or should I say then? This one can just be uh, uh, blog traffic. Let me just um, put it to my blog traffic. My site link is just training. Okay, so I can also create another hard group that can be for training and likes. You, know, you can have multiple hard groups depending on what I want you to do. So now that my hard group is not asking me to now create adverts. So I've moved to the third layer of the anatomy. So create a new advert. It's not asking me for the so this is the ad, advert section. So you can see the URL you want to push people to. So that's, this is what also the guys at Jumia went through before they created the advert we saw. So what you are learning is something that you can, that, that can take you places if you are serious with it, depending on, uh, on what you want to take away from this class. Okay, so that's coming from my URL, if you see the NG. Let them land there, or let me just slash blog. Yeah, that's fine. So headline, I can just be like, get marketing insights. Get marketing inside online. And uh, learn from all marketing. But I'm limited by character. I wanted to type professional. I'll just type good. Or good. So we need to be short and precise. So the headline three. So this one is a new feature. Like you said, what we are doing keeps evolving. If the last time you've been here is three years ago, so many things will have changed. So you can see this is, before it used to be headline one, headline two. Now they've added headline three for the search. So I told my last student at the last class as well that they added this new one. So now, so now there's something called call to action. That's what I will now use the headline three for. Call to action means what do you want them to do? I've been seeing the alpha. And that's be like, so I cannot be like, okay. Um, take action now. Maybe, maybe learn or free. You know, people like free things. So, in a way, they end up being, oh, the learn is not correct. I'm already limited by character, so I might need to remove something. I don't have any free space. Okay, so yeah, don't let me put the white space here. Let me just yeah. Okay, so learn for free. Okay, so we have defined um, we call them best practices. Whenever you want to set up to search out, but there are some words you can use. You can use exclamation. You can use some special character. You can't capitalize your search advert. Everything. No, you can capitalize the first word of each, uh, especially the deadline. Like the deadline I have here first, get marketing inside. You can, you can see I'm using capital letter for this because it's like the, like the uh, header. Well, I can't use capital letter. I'm trying to make the advert bogus so that the, you know, if my own advert is in capital letter, I have a little hedge. Over other adverts. So, in a way, I'm telling you that I'm smarter, but you will be saying, hey, no, that. you will push it, you will cancel the advert. Then again, if you over 
go against the policies they can eventually cancel your account. And imagine, imagine you are managing some of the biggest countries other than that, and it's been cancelled because of you not following the best practices. You can lose your job. These are the best practices when it comes to such as that. So another assignment for you: search for the best practices on how to write your Google search at that. Even though I've told you some, it has to be short and precise, there has to be call to action, you know, do you? Search or research. So this is a live class. There's an assignment here, research for the best guidelines or for the best practices for Google search at that. It will even help you when you are writing your Google AdWord exams, depending on how far you want to go on this path. Okay, are we there? Okay, fine. So this is an additional and a description line is given to us. There's something called the display URL. This, okay, so display URL is just something that will just be displayed. It's not actually meant to be the original. You know what they call seed, pseudo link? Like, okay, now I'm pushing training. Maybe in the real sense, I don't have a training page on my side. Maybe I don't have to do the slash training. But I want it to seem so people will see the advert like, okay, I have a pizza then you slash training link. I'll just write it there. But when they click, you see, take them to where I want them to go. Maybe it's the pizza that NG. So that's what they call the display UI. So this is how the preview of my advert will look like. You can see what we just wrote now. You can see my phone number. So for those who are being on the phone, they can just click to call instantly. So get marketing insight online. Learn from top marketing group. Take action now. Learn for free. You understand? My description one is yet to be there, so I will put them here now. Don't forget, what we just showed is the headline. Have you seen the headline? We are here to write the description one and two. And you can see my site links are already shown. These are, these are site links at the bottom. So this is the space for the description, and that is what we want to do. We are coming close to the end of this search advert class, because this is the last part. So description one. So what do we want to put there? So I'll now be like the description one. Um, so most times, if you don't know what to write, you can go to Google search to search for what people are searching for around that thing you are pushing. So for instance, I like to be practical. So for uh, digital marketing, let me even see what people are searching for around digital marketing. So this is where we see what people are searching for. Related searches. Digital marketing example, digital marketing company, what is digital marketing strategy, digital marketing salary, digital marketing courses, digital marketing again. So people even want to know that how much can I earn from the digital marketing personnel? What are the courses on that digital marketing? Okay, so this has shaping me, it has given me an idea of what to do. Alright, so I'm gonna write something that serves as an answer to some of these things I'm saying. Okay, are we following? Alright, so asking for strategy courses salary company agent would be fantastic i'll now go back now to say um writing your career path And increase your monthly and when of when then it's becoming long. Oh, well, let me let me see if it makes a complete talk when you. Us, yeah, is 
Okay, so the limit is already shown 90. So you can brighten your career path and increase your monthly earnings. Yeah. When there's no need. Or I can paraphrase, I feel it's, it's becoming too long. Let me just say brighten. Do I need to say you can? Brighten your career path and increase your monthly earnings. When you you learn a course or do you pass through a course? When you learn this course, when you or you, when you read this course, when you look okay, at complete, when you complete, yeah, that's the more appropriate one. So, you see, um, I'm having writer's block. So, as you're writing advert, you know, you're looking for the best you know, lines to use, for the most appropriate words to use. So, at least that person makes complete sense. So, I want to make sure my second description I now, I now, I now complete. You know, the whole day get access to free videos, articles, and get certified. Who am extant to put Google, Facebook? Most times, it's part of their policy. They don't want you to mention some of these branded. Get certified with Google, with Facebook in a way they might, but I'm not sure if I can get the pass mark with this. Let me just say and get certified and get certified. So I don't want to get certified with Google, get certified with Facebook. They might in a way. that might be a no no for them. Find out. Yeah. That's my call to action. So I'm done. Yeah. So this is how my advert looks like. Then you can create another one. Of them. Most times it's good to create two. So you see the one that performs better. That's like the best thing. So you can now uh, pause on this one performing and have more budget on one of these performing. But if you push one, you won't know why the advert is not performing well. It could be the copy. Maybe the copy is not enticing enough. Maybe it's not catchy enough. Maybe there's no benefit for them to click on it. So now, where am I now? I'm on the third part, create that, but now we need to go to the keywords for search. But for display, there's no... Yeah, there's display keywords or, or display for the anatomy of a Google display ad. Going to this the keyword part. So now for me, how will my advert now get regard? I need to now state those keywords and be them. Are you with me? Is this class technical? Or I think it is easy. So now, because I've added my site on Google, Google is suggesting to me the kind of keyword that is primary to my business. You can see Google AdWords, how to start a business, AdWords, what is digital marketing, digital marketing plan. So it's asking me that uh, this is the keyword I want to bid for. So in a way, so you can get the fuller idea of this thing from a tool by being called the Google Keyword Planner. How do we get there? This is like the snippet of it. This is like the snippet of it. Yeah, because it's owned by Google. You can see me. It's telling me. You see what it's telling me now? Things that are related to digital marketing, paper, three digital marketing in Lagos, free digital marketing courses, Nigeria training. Because it has seen what people are searching for in my site. So, I can select one or more or two of these things. But before I select, let me take you to a tool called the Google Keyword Planner. You know, while we're doing SEO, I mentioned it, but I said at the right time we're going to do it. So then we did um, the Google Trends. Then we did the Smart Search. Yeah, so those are keyword research tools. So now we're going to use the Google Keyword Planner. So on this platform, you scroll, you take your mouse to this icon too. You click on it. Okay, 
because what we want to do is a planning is the planning part of the campaign so you go to planning so you now see the google keyword planner so this is it you go to two you click on planning then you click on keyword planner are you with me so you click on it so it's loading no but it's asking me that do i want to leave this part okay i don't want to leave stay okay so you know what i do you know what i will do hey google you know what just open on a new tab for me so it doesn't distort what i'm currently setting up okay okay so this is it now it's loading so you can also type it on your system ads.google.com slash keyword planner so this is the keyword uh, planner you know what and what people are setting for over the years on google You're having access to you know, one of the brightest tools in digital marketing. So keyword in digital marketing is very important. That's why Google created a special tool for keyword. There's a need for research as well. There's a tool for that as well. Yeah, for okay, somebody's asking, uh, is there a tool for for searching for display? So this is add preview diagnosis this one is for display you know that okay if i spend two dollar on this particular advert what can you do to estimate and tell you you know the basic things you need to know and this is it's loading the agonistic tool but for the purpose of this class what we want to learn is the keyword that then this is how it looks like a better keyword planner. We have had your feedback and our whole server keyword features you ask for. Like I said, you know, Google is something that listens. They take feedback, very important. So they said they listen to one person and they have updated their platform. So okay, so um They have new features, more seeds, keyword trends, Google ideas, suggested budget, commission value, and save an idea. So now take us to keyword planner. Okay, so this is the most familiar part of keyword planner. So it doesn't need to, it was just trying to show us the new thing that we have it. So it's either you do two things you find new keywords or you get search volume and forecast. This second one, get search volume and forecast, is not. You know the keywords that are primary to your business. You just want to know what to forecast the estimated, you know, uh, clicks you can get, the estimated views you can get, the estimated impression you can get from the keyword. But this part is what we want to leverage on. This part, once you know one or two keywords to your business, this part will generate a related kind of keyword for you, or what other people are searching for that is the same thing, or in line, or related. So that thing you are searching for. So I'll click on this, find new keyword. So what I just have to do is provide one or two keywords for Google. I mean like digital marketing. I can go ahead with this or you can still type some other thing. I can be like, um, learn digital for free because I know people like to learn for free then again how would I just say again? maybe okay training okay, so let's now see from the keywords so these are the three keywords I want you can have more depending on to get started so this is the keyword landmark you don't have access to this they say you are signing Adult. But before, you know, you don't need to sign in before you have access to this. But you found, found, found a way to. I can see some new additions to this keyword planner. So I still used it like last month, even early this month. These are new addition. Okay, I'll, I'll show you what is what is what is new here. Okay, so. We 
Okay. So these are the search trends, the search volume trends. You can also break down by platform, by location, and the likes. So for these keywords now, so it's not telling me in 2018. Look at this key. This is total. This is mobile. The total search. Why this is just mobile? So mobile is the red. Why the total search both desktop and mobile? So which means when you remove mobile from total, that's the desktop, and that's the small size here. The small size is desktop. You know what I mean? So in 2013, for these three keywords, this is search for over 40,000 searches. It is even more than 40. It's 50, 60,000 searches exactly. That is in April 2013. In May 2018, other it is growing, it's growing, but in, in June 2018, the thing went down. In July, it also has a good figure. But the, the, the part that is having the highest spike is March 2018. It is growing, and you, and you can see it. And this is the best time you can even push this out back because you have a spike. Now, this is all this is close to 70. 5,000 searches for digital marketing, learning digital marketing. This is just March 2019. So anything I want to do for digital marketing, this should even be the best part because a lot of people are searching for it. So this thing tells me, okay, I'm always seeing my time, okay, it's okay for me to push money on this. At this no way, you be able to justify your doubt. So you can download the keyword idea. But let's even see the keywords it is suggesting to us. So, is it? so these are the three keywords I searched for. So that's why it is 13 name for so learn digital marketing for free is the list. So these are the new addition. When I mouse over before, it doesn't give me a lot of these volume searches. So I know who's trying to update how their platform looks like. But the, the one that has the highest search is the 6600 the digital marketing. Because maybe because I didn't specify digital marketing course, digital marketing class, but it's just the digital marketing, it has the highest kind of searches. And look at the spike. Look at the last line. You can explain the statistics. That line is going up. But look at the other one. Data marketing training is now maintaining its steady average. It's not going up. It's not going up. But look at that top most one. There was a spike before. It now came down. It's now maintaining that bottom. Not to say people are not searching to learn something for free. Yeah. No. So now it tells me okay, I'm in the right line. Data marketing training so is doing well. People are searching for it. Okay, so there was a spike for digital marketing training in uh, what month is this? In June 2018. So it's telling me, oh, if I want to do digital marketing training, maybe I should look for June. maybe I should wait till June or March. Two is a good time, 2020. But look at June 2019. So those are what I can make out of this data. But for digital marketing, anything digital marketing is March 9,900. So these are the key. So the first three sets he gave me. Data uh, details about uh, the three keywords are inserted on the keyword planner. All right. But now it's now giving me related keyword ideas. You know, I didn't search for some of these things now. So it's now giving me all other guys are now searching. I didn't mention course, I didn't mention internet marketing. Look at was telling me, hey, don't overlook these things. So these are it. And I have one of ten of one thousand nice things. But I'm like, hey, can you give me can you show me a hundred of, of them at once? Let me have a look instead of me clicking on next. Okay, so now there's something we call filter by monthly searches. What is giving me is it based on the number of searches? No, one for this is at the bottom of 70. So I can filter by monthly searches. How do I mean? Just click on this average monthly searches. Once you click on it, it now reloads and it makes sure this one that has the highest searches come up. So SEO is stopping now. Print around 600 searches. So they're into digital marketing. People are searching for SEO. They want to know what do you do you educate, you teach them. So if they see something of value, then they can come back to you and learn. Okay, so marketing definition, this one too is going on a spike. Social media marketing, people are learning it. You know, they are searching about the marketing concept, free online courses with certificate. It's even high. The commission is high. Free online courses with certificate. So what is digital marketing? People are asking questions and this, this thing is going up. March is it's going up. What is it? Okay, it's giving us um, data till March 2019. There's no April 2019. That's April 2018. 
for maybe we are still in April. Still here together for April. So these are the things I can now add as my keyword based on these things. These are what initiates. Then another metric that is also important for SEO now. What you just need to take care of is the competition. Oh, is the competition high? Is it medium or is it if it is high? Don't waste your time on it. If it's high, it means that too many people have bid in for this keyword. They are trying to optimize their page for this keyword. That is SEO wise. But for paid search wise, because all we are doing is search advert. For paid search wise, it means you should be able to pay the high amount to do for this skill because competition are beating for this skill. That's why when this one is free online tech course you certificate, businesses that are into training are beating for this, and that's why it's high. But look at the lower ones, you see that marketing concept is not really a business thing for top companies, so that's why competition is low. But you, you can write an article on your site and rank as number one position for this because the competition is low SEO wise. Then again, the other part is the big part for the purpose of this class, the money. So how much will I now pay for this? It's not telling me the minimum I can pay for SEO as a keyword, even though the commission is low, is five cents to ten point fifty cents, ten point fifty dollar. For me, I feel that is a little bit high for me to you know, but for me I can. So now, I told Google that, a. Hey, I'm willing to pay as high as 40 cent, but don't do more than 40 cent. I can still get shown for this. But if somebody outbeats me with one dollar or two dollar, hey, I won't show him because the guy has outbeaten me. I'll be devoted to maybe second or the third place. But if a whole lot of people have outbeaten me, then I won't show at all. That is what this one means. So, what I'm just showing you is I'm showing you what people are searching for in terms of the keyword. Then is the competition still? Is it high? Is it new? Then again, how much does it cost for you to be for that keyword? This is very important. This is keyword they say. What we are doing is keyword they say. Highly important. Highly important. So for digital marketing class, our digital marketing again is low, but how much is it? From five to four dollars. Okay, so that's that. And don't forget the location is in Nigeria because I was looking at the amount and I'm like, am I sure I've selected Nigeria? So which means the commission is getting stiffer too in Nigeria. Okay, so these are the keywords. So for me now, for the purpose of what I'm doing now, for what I'm trying to do, I will just copy this keyword advertising agency. I will now go and paste it on my search advert. How much am I willing to pay for advertising agency? It's telling me minimum of four cents to eight. Well, yeah, I can still shoot because I said I can pay 40 cents. 4 cents is still lower than 4 cents. But the moment is now going to one dollar, two dollar, I won't show you again. So now let me go back to my search advert to now copy and paste it. Advertising agency. So you can do that on and on, keep copying based on those things. If you feel it works for you, paste it. So we're just trying to show you the importance of your search before you go ahead to set up your advert because money is involved. You need to do a proper search. So then again, there's another one. So Google add what I we also add it here. This is what Google is suggesting to me on the on the platform. So once I click on the add button, it goes straight. Have you seen it? It has added to it. Google add what how to start the business here yeah, because this is how to start the business as well too. What is digital marketing? Yeah, digital marketing job. I will also show you the kind of jobs you can get here. Yeah, Google market, Google digital marketing, and uh, paper click. Yeah, that's even the the meaning of our name. Google the engine paper click. The marketing training, yes. Yeah, so, but telling me the monthly searches, but this one is not telling me the amount um, I should be. So that's why that keyword planner is well encompassing, it shows you everything. Search engine marketing, yes, and on and on and on and on, like that. So, I'm adding keywords. So, here I'm trying to be for this keyword. So, what should we do next? Okay, so I continue on the okay, so I save and continue. Okay, so something I forgot to mention to us now is we have three types of um, keyword in, in terms of intent. I think I mentioned that before. 
the life. Intent based on the intention of the searcher. Have I mentioned that in this class? Maybe the first seven So if the person is searching for um, what is digital marketing? Uh, here is lucky located. That is an informational search, informational kind of keyword. Person is only trying to get information. The second one is the navigational keyword. The person knows where he's going to, but he does not know how to get there. Imagine you get to Lake Luzon, you're telling me if I get that. I'm going to end at a college, but you don't really know the place, but you're trying to tell me. It takes you straight there and you pay. You know where you're going, but you don't know how to get there. So when you go to Luzon, you're like, Conga iPhone 6. You want to buy iPhone 6 on Conga, but you don't know the pay it is. You can just open Conga.com back iPhone 6 for you. That is not the 